what's good guys welcome to my channel so guys what's new <laughs> you tell me who looks like a brand new person if you guys want to see how i accomplished this look using ally grace hair please keep watching i think it will be worth it so today i'm going to be removing color from this fuchsia bob wig that i had for over like I'm gonna say almost two years now. I don't know, but I feel like it's like almost two years. But we gonna say like almost two years. But basically, I'm gonna be using a shitload of baking soda. I don't know how much exactly that I used, but I know that I used a lot. And then I used this Ajax soap, and this is how it looked instantly. Instantly after dipping it inside the water, you can see that the color is like instantly starting to remove. So I sizzle that up. I, I let that run through the hair for about like, I feel like I want to say 10 minutes, but I think it was like 15 minutes. But yeah, I did about like 10 minutes on this and I just want to show you guys how it looked after. So this is how it looked afterwards. I'm rinsing it out. It wasn't like a drastic difference, but there's definitely a difference. And you can see how much um, how much baking soda I was using. And then how much Ajax dishwashing soap. I don't know if I said that last time, but I'm not crazy. I'm not gonna put Ajax, you know, the powder to clean. No. Um, <laughs> I used the Ajax, the Ajax, um, what is this called? Dishwashing soap, what was wrong with me? So that's why it's sizzling up like that. And this is my second time doing that. And then here's my third time doing it. So after, well, I think this is the second. This is after the second time. So I left this on for 15 minutes and you can see that a lot of the color came out. So that's why it's like a deep purple. This is how the hair looked after the third time of me leaving it for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I wasn't sure. You can do like 10 minutes, but this is how it looked. I didn't want to fry the hair, so I didn't want to really continue the processing process. Like, I didn't want to do it like the fourth time, so that's it. Now, y'all know damn well, y'all know this process, but for anybody who's new, I want to show you guys exactly how to do the water method. You can see that from numerous amounts of videos and old videos from me, so... I'm still gonna do it just for the purpose of the video and just to be more informative so I'm just going to I ended up using most of this bottle I got the royal royal navy color by kiss and I ended up using all of that eventually because why not and this is how the colors look so it was kind of like a pastel pink in the end so it wasn't a fail but you know I did end up doing the biggest mistake of my life guys and as you can see I'm gonna soon do it. I'm just mixing up the color to show you guys how it looks. Yes, yes, beautiful, beautiful, real cute, giving me lavendula vibes. Okay, but yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, guys, I ended up putting my fingers in there, and you can see that my nails are like a, it's like a clear, a clear powder color, and my nails ended up being like a lavender tint, which I didn't mind. Okay guys i wish i put it in. I, I wish i put it in the video but i did but this is how the color looked after leaving the color on for a day it's really pretty and yeah that's it guys don't come for me this is probably the shittiest most dysfunctional installation process you have ever seen that's why i cut out most of it because it took that long for me to finally get the wig down and it really wasn't securely down but Honestly, it's because the wig is cut properly, isn't cut properly, and it's also not sewn properly. So it barely fit my head, to be honest. I got a big ass head, so you know, that's a lot. But I did what I had to do just to kind of make it look presentable, guys. All right, so I'm about to flame my ass once again. So this messy ass installation just continued to be a freaking hot mess guys like honestly i was so over it i was trying to style this wig it was just not doing it for me like the part was messed up i was trying to fix the part the best of my ability it wasn't turning out terrible but it still was just not it for me like like look at all the makeup just falling down into my wig and it was actually glue in the wig as well because i was just over it so i ended up being so sick and tired of this style and i just ended up doing a little fringe bang because I was like what the hell is going on like why can't I get this style that I've been wanting plus I have somewhere to go as always as always so 
I just ended up cutting some bangs into this guys and then flyering that and that's pretty much how I accomplished this look. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. <laughs> Honestly, I like it. It's like, that's cute. That's cute. I like it. I put bangs in it because the lace is honestly messed up. This whole wig is kind of like really dysfunctional at the moment. So that's like the real reason why I put the bang. And I'm not really going to keep wearing this wig because it does like, it's it has a lot of complication, guys. Like when I put it on, it doesn't like really fully secure my head. It pulls up in the back and... I didn't really cut the wig properly so of course that is like an additional problem on top of the rest of it after doing like the process of stripping the hair I do notice like it is like a little it's like a little dry still moves it's still nice it's like there's nothing really I would probably strip color from hair again of course because I don't want to buy extra hair but it really is I mean it's not terrible like the hair doesn't feel bad it obviously is a little bit altered i do feel that i'm not gonna lie it looks good it honestly really looks good and it feels really good like i'm not gonna lie about that it doesn't feel like it's just like really really dry and damaged it doesn't feel like that it's just really altered and also i feel like whenever i do add blues to hair i feel like that's with like the oranges and the blues. I mean, I don't know if I'm the only person that experiences that, but the hair does feel a little bit more drier as to like when I use like a red or pink on hair, it feels more soft and moisturized. I don't know why it's like that, but a lot of times whenever I use blue, cause this is not the first time I attempted to do blue, but this is like the first time it's really shown. Cause the other time it appeared to be green I don't like that it looks really nice guys I'm not used to bobs anymore so and this is actually I think this is like the first time that I had a bob this length with a bang you know I always wanted to do like blue dark navy blue I mean it's like lighter than what I really wanted honestly probably should have mixed a little bit of the black in it but I didn't think that it would be this bright in blue it's not terrible it's not like really really vibrant but at the same time it is kind of vibrant versus what i really wanted but it's really nice it looks really nice i'm actually shocked i mean looking like a different person i would just be like shocking myself because this is like who the hell are you girl what the if you guys did find this video really helpful thumbs up and subscribe down low and share and comment down if you want to see more content and what you want to see on me of course i will deliver I shall deliver. I'm being very weird because this is so awkward. I feel like, I don't know guys, this is so awkward. It's like when I don't make videos often, I really feel really like, like I'm a new student. I'm the new girl in town. It's just so weird. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna cut it out soon. I love you guys and keep watching and stay tuned for my next video.